Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and I wanted to go through a quick overview of the new Evo Mail app. Um, if you've been aware of any new email clients over the past year or so, you'll probably have heard of Evo Mail alongside the likes of Mailbox and MailPilot uh, and Incredimail and, and Boxer and things like that. Now, um, Evo, the team at Evo Mail has been hard at work. They've redesigned a brand new app. It's controlled entirely differently. It looks different. Um, and to all intents and purposes, it's basically a new app. Now it's been branded as Evo Mail Plus. Now in terms of compatibility, um, it will work with any IMAP or virtually any IMAP email account. So Gmail, including apps, Yahoo, iCloud, and the likes will work. You'll get push notifications delivered through Evo Mail's own cloud system. Um, it's not yet available with Exchange accounts. It won't work with Exchange. But for most people, it will do the job just fine. Now, the biggest talking point, I guess, with Evo Mail is the new control system. Now, you'll notice in the bottom left-hand corner, you've got this kind of plus button. It's essentially one button that does everything. So if I press and hold it, for instance, you can sort your inbox. This is my uh, inbox. I believe it's my unified inbox. You can filter using three different settings. So I can filter all my unread ones. You'll see that's my only unread email. Um, I can filter for attachments. I don't have any. Uh, or flagged emails. Or flagged and unread. Or flagged unread and attachments. So that's quite neat. If I get rid of that, uh, if I actually pull it across to the right, I see all the accounts I've got there. Um, you can select individual accounts to see that individual inbox. Um, or you can select the unified inbox. You can also go to folders and this is where you'll see anything that you've actually put into folders or starred will be in the left hand bar here. You can also access your settings where you can change things like um, gestures, you can edit the gestures, you can reset the tutorial because when you open it for the first time you will go through a tutorial which I do advise you doing because it is slightly different to what you'll be used to. All sorts of preferences in here, um, and you can change your default address. Um, you'll see obviously the lists are in there, but you can change your default address and that will change the color of the label. Sadly, you can't actually manually edit the colors of the labels. Hopefully that's something that will come at a later date. Now what you can see if you drag upwards, it's kind of something that we can apply, apply actions to all your emails. So. Um, you can delete them by pressing the X. You press the tick to archive them. Uh, pressing this one, you need to actually select a message, obviously, first. There you go, a tick appears or a check mark appears. Um, and you can, if you press this one, you can actually uh, set a time to remind yourself so it can be later today, tomorrow, or next week. Um, so, like Mailbox. And those kind of apps, you can apply various uh, delays and reminders, kind of turning it into a to-do list, but I don't think it sacrifices the conversational aspect of email either, which is something that a lot of them do. What you can also do is if you select a specific conversation, press and hold it, you can actually snooze it like I was showing you just now, or label it, or favorite it, or mark it as unread. You just tap the plus button, you can then create a new message, uh, you type it in and send it as normal. But that's a quick overview. What you can also do is if you go into your email address, you've also got the gestures similar to other email addresses to email apps where you can just swipe across to delete something or swipe this way to archive. It's very simple. It's a really nice UI user interface. Um, and I have actually grown to quite like it. It's not quite reliable enough yet to replace uh, my daily email client, but hopefully with time as the developers work on it and work out all the bugs, um, then it is going to be something that I will consider using as my daily email client. Like I said earlier, it's got the right balance between conversational and productive email. But at the same time, some of the buttons are a little bit f finicky, I guess is one way you could say it. Um, I accidentally reached inbox zero. I'm not sure what I did. Um, so that's something that could definitely be changed because I really don't know what I pressed to get that. I've obviously pressed something. Um, so the icons are clearly very small. So you will have to get used to that and the way that it works. It's not 
usual, it doesn't work the usual way, let's put it that way. But this is available now, available for free in the App Store. I will leave a link in the description box and I will see you again soon.